Welcome to this Sage Business Cloud Accounting demo. In this video, you will learn how to create a bank account, connect it to your online bank, create and match transactions, and configure bank rules in Sage Accounting. A bank feed is the automatic transmission of your bank statement data into Sage Accounting. Once bank transactions are available in Sage Accounting, they can be matched to existing transactions and new transactions can be created using information from your bank. Bank feeds can significantly reduce the amount of manual entry, simplify the bank reconciliation, and ensure that your accounts are always up to date. Let's begin by adding a bank account. From the Banking tab, select New and Bank Account. Select the account type you are adding from the list and enter the account name. Depending on the type of account selected, additional fields may be available. In our case, because we have selected a savings account, we can enter an account number. An opening balance can also be entered directly from the screen. Click either Save or Save and Connect Bank to proceed with a bank connection. We will click Save. We will now connect our checking bank account to bank feeds. The same process can be followed with other types of accounts, such as savings accounts or credit cards. Click Connect Bank to begin. If the bank you would like to connect to appears in the list of most popular banks, select it here. You can also search for your bank in a search area. Review and accept the terms and conditions to proceed. You will then be prompted to enter the credentials that you use to sign in with your bank. Once complete, click Submit. If there are multiple accounts associated with these credentials, select the bank account you would like to connect at this time and click OK. Enter the start date to import all transactions. Most banks allow you to go as far back as the last 90 days. Click All Done. Sage Accounting begins downloading transactions. Note that it may take a few minutes. You can use other areas of the program during the download. When the download is complete, the number of transactions will appear. Simply click it to access the list. This page lists all the transactions downloaded from the bank with their date, description and amount. For each transaction, you have three options. Match it with an existing transaction already recorded in Sage Accounting, create a new transaction, or record a transfer of funds. Note that Sage Accounting automatically matches existing payments and receipts that have a matching date and amount. To manually match a transaction, click the Match button. A list of outstanding transactions populates. If you would like to search using specific criteria, click Search. This option allows you to filter based on dates, transaction types, and even a specific contact. Under the transaction list, an option allows you to create a new transaction. It can be useful to record a payment on account from a customer or to a vendor, for example. To match the transaction to an outstanding transaction, select it in the list. Multiple outstanding transactions can be selected if a payment was made for multiple invoices or bills. In our case, we select one outstanding transaction, select the payment method and confirm the amount to allocate against the outstanding transaction selected. Finally, click Match. Sage Accounting records a new vendor payment or customer receipt. The second option allows you to create a new transaction from an imported entry. If desired, select a contact, which can be a vendor for a payment or a customer for a receipt. The payment method can also be modified here. Select a ledger account for the expense or the income. Confirm the province, as well as the applicable tax rate for this transaction. If a single transaction should be recorded with multiple ledger accounts or to multiple tax rates, this forked arrow icon allows you to split a transaction. For each line, enter a description if needed. Select a ledger account, a tax rate, and the amount to allocate. The total amount must be equal to the transaction amount. In our case, this transaction only needs to be allocated to one account, and we click Cancel Split. Click Create to post the transaction. Let's now look at how to create a transfer of funds from an imported entry. First, we click Transfer. Select the account to transfer to or to transfer from. The reference can be modified if desired. Then, simply click Transfer. 
Each transaction on this page can be processed as a match, newly created transaction, or a transfer. If you would like to remove a transaction from this list without adding it, simply click the X symbol on the left. This can be useful if the transaction has already been recorded, or in cases where the same account or credit card is being used for both personal and business matters. Finally, if you often find transactions that you need to categorize in a certain way, you may set up a rule for Sage Accounting to automatically create the transaction. Click Rules to start. We click New Rule to set up a new rule. Start by typing a name for the rule. Our first rule will be for office supplies, often purchased from the same supplier. Indicate whether the rule applies to payments or receipts. Then, you may enter a list of conditions for the rules to apply. Our first condition will be for the reference, which should include our vendor name, Staples. We type the name Staples. In the drop-down menu, indicate whether you want the reference to be an exact match, or if it simply needs to contain the word Staples. Let's specify a second condition based on the amount. If we only want to apply this rule for transactions up to $200, we select less than or equal to, and we type an amount of 200. Finally, we indicate how we want these transactions to be recorded. In our case, they should be recorded as other payments to the vendor staples. The payment method should be credit or debit card. The ledger account to use is office supplies. We could also change the tax code if needed. Let's click Save. Every transaction downloaded from the bank that includes staples in the reference and has an amount up to $200 will automatically be recorded as an other payment for office supplies. Congratulations! You now know how to create a bank account, connect it to your online bank, create and match transactions, and configure bank rules in Sage Business Cloud Accounting.